It is 2022 and that means iPhone 13 is old news. Time to talk about iPhone 14. Every little change that's going to happen this year to the iPhone 14 and 14 Pro, I'm gonna tell you in this video. So boys and girls, what's up? My name is Joe and in today's video, let's talk about the iPhone 14 and all the major changes that are coming up. First of all, let's talk about sizes. A lot of people say that there's only gonna be two sizes for the new models. As you might know, there are currently three sizes. There's a mini, a normal, and a max version, or the Pro Max version. But in 2022, we will no longer have the iPhone 13 or 14 mini. That's gonna be discontinued. The small screen is out the window. What will happen is we'll have an iPhone 14 and an iPhone 14 Max. And then we're gonna have an iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max. So the 14 and 14 Pro are the same size and the 14 Max and the 14 Pro Max are the same size. So your choice is going to be, is it gonna be the small one or the big one? Not the smallest, the medium or the large. No, 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 no more difficult decisions in terms of that. Also, there are changes to the iPhone's screen. First of all, the whole Face ID sensor and front camera is going to be fully changed in the pro version. In the normal version, it's probably gonna stay the same, but in the pro version, we are going to have a small cutout, a pill-shaped cutout, plus uh, like a dot on an eye. It's gonna look like an eye. Apart from this, they, they managed to put all of the sensors, all of the Face ID sensors in the small pill shape, and you're gonna have the camera separate. This camera, according to Ming Chi Ko, is going to be revamped, and it's gonna be a really cool selfie camera. So it's gonna have autofocus, it's gonna have better dark photography, it's gonna have all of these things and it's gonna be a major upgrade to the previous years. Now there's a big upgrade coming on the back side as well. We're gonna have a 48 megapixel camera in the pro version. Do you see what's happening over here? We're starting to differentiate the pros from the non-pros. And there's one more thing that's gonna to happen to the pros that's not gonna to happen to the non-pros, which is the chip. So the iPhone 13 and 13 Pro have the A15 chip. This chip is going to be in the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Max and the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max is going to get a new chip, an A16 chip or some kind of M chip, who knows, but it's going to differ from the basic models. We are seeing that they are differentiating the two models. So now maybe the Pro will be a more pro version of the phone. Also, there's some news that on the pro version, there will be a significant difference in the bezel size. It's gonna be 20% smaller. So we're gonna have more screen real estate on the pro versions. That's really cool when you're actually doing a lot of uh, videography and whatever, because you have more screen real estate to look around on what you're actually seeing. In terms of battery life, we don't know. In terms of design, it's going to stay the same. Not many significant upgrades happening there. Probably we're gonna get some new colors and probably Apple's gonna throw in there something uh, software-wise as they always do, just like with, um, you know, cinematic mode or whatever. Apart from this, there's not going to be much upgrades. There's no USB-C coming. There's no modified wireless charging. There's no, no, no extreme features, no underscreen finger um, print reader. So don't even think about that. What will happen though, is we're going to have a really cool iOS 16 benefits on these devices. Every year, Apple upgrades their iOS operating system. This year, maybe we're gonna get a couple of great features for the iPhones, but I think Apple is going to focus more on either macOS and iPadOS. Because last year, iPadOS 15 was truly lackluster. It didn't bring the performance benefits that the M1 chip in the iPads require. People can't really utilize all that power in their iPads because the operating system isn't just letting them. What we're so far knowing is that it's gonna be more of a professional device for the pros if you connect a uh, keyboard and mouse and it's gonna have a totally dis different display. But that is for another video. This video is about iPhones. And I think with the iPhones, with all of these changes, gonna be, you know, Apple builds it up during their presentations. They're gonna have the camera in focus. They're gonna have the selfie camera in focus, the new chip in the pros, the new screen design, the new face ID design. So all of this sounds like an hour presentation, which it usually takes, or 45 minutes. Other than this, don't expect much. If you're holding on to an iPhone 13 or 13 Pro or the mini or the max, this is not gonna be your year to upgrade, maybe next year. But if you're holding on to an iPhone 11, or maybe even 12, 
then you might be considering upgrading to this device. So, new cameras, new selfie camera, better low light photography on the selfie camera, better resolution, 48 megapixels, smaller notches, no notches, smaller bezels. It's interesting. And only two sizes. So, iPhone 14 and 14 Pro, what do you guys think? What's gonna happen? Let me know down in the comment section below. And until my next video, stay safe. And I